Hello YouTube people, this is ne uh, this is Ned of Give the Creeper a Hug. Today I'm going to show you how to make a bucket server for Minecraft so you can play on Minecraft with your friends and stuff. I'm going to put this into two videos because I can only make 10 minute videos at a, at a time. The first video is going to uh, be how to set it up and download it and stuff and configure it. And the second video is going to show you how to port forward. Um, so let's get started. Open up your web browser and go to bucket.org. This is where you get a bucket from and buy the latest, uh, not buy, it's free. Download the latest version of bucket because that's the best obviously. And here we go, here's the jar file that will control the server. Uh, I'll, go, oops, I'll go on desktop and make a new folder. Blah, blah, blah. Um, save it. There it's saved. There it is, blah blah, that I just saved the jar file in. And here it is. Um, the jar file. Um, so this will control pretty much everything, I'm not really sure what it does. But what you need to do now is right click this white area, this white area here. Hover, hover over new and click text document. I'll just call it blah because it doesn't really matter about the name of it. Uh, open it up, it'll be blank. What you need to do now is go back to bucket. Um, get craft bucket, click that. And it'll come up loads of code and how to do it. If you have Windows, which I'm doing a tutorial of, um, copy and paste this. Yeah, I can't copy and paste it. Uh, hang on. There we go. Copy, right click copy and paste, there we go. Now don't save it, press file and save as because you need to change the name. Don't save it as a .txt file otherwise it won't work. Save it as something normal server dot make sure it's not dxt, not, not txt, it has to be .bat because it works as .bat. There we go. Now it's saved. I can get rid of this. And there it is, server.bat. We can get rid of this other one that we just made. Click server.bat. Damn it. There we go. And some thing will come up saying what, what it's doing. It'll come up with loads of warning files because it can't find warning things because it can't find some files. So it creates them right here. And that's preparing, preparing the spawn area of, of the server that I'm making. I have to pause the video because it's taking ages. Okay, now it's finished. It's came up with done. For help, type help or question mark. So do that. Help. And press enter. And it comes up with all the commands that you can do, like OP a player or kick a player. You can even type in say and then a message. And people in the server will be able to see that message uh, and all sorts. Type in stop and press enter and it'll stop the server. There we go. Now what we need to do is to configure all the files about what to do. Um, so let's start with serve.properties. This is probably the most important. All the, this controls pretty much all the important stuff. Like if you can go to the never, leave that at false because it's a bit glitchy for me. Spawn monsters, that's if you want creepers and stuff. So if if you want that, put it as true. And if you don't want creepers and stuff, and zombies, put that as false. Online mode, you must keep that as true, otherwise no one will come online because it's stupid. Spawn animals, true. If you want pigs and stuff, max players, do whatever you want to that. Depending on how com how fast your computer is. Server IP, just leave that blank if you want. PVP, um, that's if you want other players to be able to hurt each other um, put that as false if if you want players to be friendly to each other. Level seed um, I'm not really sure about those, they just do something to the codec of the level that you're making um, server port, leave that alone whitelist, that's if you want to make it so only certain people can come on the server and spawn protection is the amount of blocks around the spawn that can't be destroyed unless you're an OP and that's it. Just configure those. Press save afterwards. 
Um, server log keeps a, a log of what happens on the server. Whitelist, that's only if you've put whitelist to true. Um, ops.txt, um, you can just type in a name and save it. Uh, and that'll make a, uh, make a player an OP. Um, but you can also do it with this. Um, by, t by typing OP and then player name. Look, there it goes up in Cloud Sniffer. There we go. You can do the same with banned IPs and banned players. It's exactly the same. And this is some database. Password Walrus. Okay, I don't know what that is. I don't really know what this is. It's just some sort of database. Plugins, we'll get to those later in a different video. And world, this is the world that you've created. And you can test if the server works, but it won't it'll only work on this computer. We run it. Go minecraft.exe. It probably won't work because it's lagging like hell. Log in. I have to pause the video, it's taking ages. And sorry about that guys. I couldn't I couldn't open Minecraft to uh, technical difficulties. But what I was gonna show you is um, go on Minecraft, press multiplayer, and type in type in local host, which is um, spelt like this. Yeah, go on multiplayer and type in local host, and that'll make your player go to the server that you've just made. And that's it for this video. Um, I'll show you how to port forward um, the server, so you could uh, uh, other players can play on it. Um, thanks for watching and thanks for listening to me ramble. Uh, I'll stop the server and please wait for my next video and I'll be back.